Hello. Um, in this video, really short, I'm just going to explain how to use yoga while you're doing um, cardio and just other exercises in general. Um, when thinking about yoga, we usually think about stretches, but in the implementation of yoga, we're really focusing on our mind, our breath, and what our body is doing in that moment. And in this way, we can pretty much apply this to any exercise. How are we breathing? How are we feeling our muscles? And are our chakras or our energy centers in a line with one another or are they fighting one another? An example of this was I was running today and I found that I could run farther and with more ease and relax when I lifted up my whole body and lifted up my head specifically and focused on like moving my breath. Now, um, in understanding breath work, versus pranayama, there is a difference because prana isn't your breath. Prana almost feels like this liquid. I want to say that's like kind of, it's within your body. And when you're breathing, you're basically activating its light force. So when you're running and you're focusing on your breath, if you are focusing on your solar plexus, you're trying to store it and if you run too fast it builds up builds up builds up but it like sparks and you can't really like continue that energy to have it be in a place where it's too small then you're like walking basically where it's just activated and you're up and running or most exercises where you're trying to find like the flow or like medium state you're trying to open it enough to where it's not detaching so where it's stable and you can keep it there so that you have the channels going completely through and through focusing on your breath. And your posture is a big part of this because if you're slunched over running, you can't really breathe. But as you lift up your chest, tilt back your head, you're allowing more airflow to come through. This is also like a great thing to like bring into your meditations because using like if you're lifting weights, if you're doing um, all these different types of exercising, having this like consciousness in your um, exercises will really allow you to understand how your body is feeling more energetically, as well as how your breath is helping to activate all of this. Um, with that, there's one more thing. Um, this practice is, it's not dangerous, but it like it supercharges your solar plexus and it makes you high like not high but like um it just activates your channels a lot so it clears everything up and you get a really big mood boost but you have to be careful with it because if you like like let's say you're doing this on the side of the road after running and like you do it you have the possibility of like um, not passing out, but like getting dizzy, like you don't want to do that and do it in the road. So I advise that if you're going to do this, you do this somewhere where you're safe, you have a nice space. Um, and in that, the basic idea is to take a deep breath in, stretch out your arms behind your back, put them back, and then breathe in more. And you're activating this area. Now, the real issue is that you're holding tension, usually, for most people, in their pelvis. You have to release all of this. And this comes with practice more and more. And then you open up the channel all the way. And sometimes even you get, like, a lot of pops from it. It's really good for clearing everything out. Now, the point isn't the pops, but the point is, like, the energy boost that you get from it. With that, be careful how much you're breathing in. Um... And I personally like to do this after my runs when I'm like off to the side, like I do this, I give like some stretches and I get this like really big, like buzz vibration in my head. And it like gives me energy to like do the rest of the things in the day. Because usually after a run, I'm tired. I don't want to do anything. If I do that, I have a little bit more energy and also like my whole body feels alive. Like I can feel all of the like sensations within myself. Um, there's this concept of nadis in yoga, where you have 72,000, depending on the tradition, and it's like basically energy points all along the body that like run along these like lines or like wires or like these circuitry. Um, I would say that this is similar to the nervous system, but it's not the nervous system. By doing this breath, and I know this is going to sound weird, 
um, you get this like vibration that goes all throughout your body. Um, a good example of kind of a version of this, you know, when you like sit on your hand and it falls asleep and you like feel it, but you don't feel it. Now, um, it's kind of like that, but you're like shooting more feeling into you. You're like activating all of the vibration. It's very easy to do, very simple. Um, but again, be careful. Um, if you have a lot of blocks throughout your air, like chakras and stuff, it might be a little bit more difficult. But since we're focusing on just really breathing into our solar plexus and then expanding out and doing the standing usually and then letting it lift all the way up and then controlling it out, we get a natural like relaxing effect that really opens up our um, head, our chest and everything. So I think it's a very beneficial practice. Um, but yeah, with that, be careful. Uh, this can be a very powerful thing, and this can be a very weak thing. It takes practice and time. By doing yoga, you're opening all the channels in your body so you can really get to experience this. But I, again, think that running is a really great way to really activate this energy because, like, running, like, especially yogic run or not yogic running, but, like, running with attention to your breath and, like, letting, like, the sun hit you keeping it on your third eye, bringing that energy down and finding that exact middle place, not fast or slow or whatever, but your exact place, you like, uh, not zone out, but you like into this like place of like very nice bliss. It's not samadhi, but it's like everything like just slowly fades away and you're just like, okay, I'm running and I don't need to focus on anything else and everything is just my breath and movement which is very nice and it's very symbolic of the meaning and all of that. Um, and then if you want that boost, that solar boost, you stop, get to the side, go where cars can't hit you, do a big breath in, release your pelvic floor and everything below. Like you can use your attention to like relax and relax, and relax it, stretch back, breathe in more, always through the nose. And yeah, um, again, be careful with this, but like in general, it's fun and it's a good way to get like a buzz without having to do anything. Like sometimes I'll do this instead of drinking coffee and I'll get even more energy. Also, if you like do like five sun cells in the morning and then you do that, you are just going to feel awesome for the rest of the day. All right. Um, have a good evening, morning, night, whatever you're watching this. Um, if you have any questions or you want more material that's focused on like energy work and how to use your breath to like activate different places to have different effects, I can tell you about that. Um, besides that, have a good day.